Hey everyone, today's Cricut in 5 minutes or less is going to be showing you how to import an image off the internet and then customize it to be exactly what you're looking for in a cut file. So for example, I wanted a map of North and South America to put in my project life. My card ended up looking like this. So, what I needed to do was I needed to find a map. So, I found one that I liked and I saved it to my computer. Then, I go over to Cricut Design Space, click Upload, and I upload that image. If you're looking for that button, it's here on your left-hand menu on the far left on the bottom. Then, when you have that screen, click Upload Image and find it where you had saved it. Mine is saved on my desktop. Okay, so I uploaded that image into Cricut Design Space. I'm going to save it as a simple image because there's really only two colors that I have in this particular one. Click Continue. Now again, I'm just wanting to have the portion of the United States down through South America because we moved from Dallas, Texas to Ecuador. So in order to focus on that part of the map, let's first zoom in so we have more control over what we're editing. So up here on the upper right corner, click Zoom In. Now it's not a very pretty image, and that's okay because we are specifically making a cut file out of this image. The first thing I'm going to do is click on the Select and Erase tool. Nothing happens when you click on it, but it is selected when it turns black like this in your upper left corner. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of all this white space. I'm just going to click my crosshairs right on that white space. Now I'm going to focus on the larger areas that I know I also don't need. The next thing I do is I move over to the Erase tool. Now with that, I go real big on my brush. So I just use the slider and go real big because I don't need anything on this side of the canvas. So I'm going to make sure to swipe up and down and make sure I've erased all of those little dots and that I don't have anything left over here. Next, I only want the top of North America. So I'm going to scale down my circle a little bit so I have more control. And I'm going to swipe to the left. If you make a mistake, click the Undo button. Now let's try to get more control again. Let's go a little smaller. And now let's click Continue. So now you'll see when I'm on this page, I'm going to be saving this as a cut image. But I did miss some little dots up here, so let's go fix that. All we'll have to do is hit the Back button. Let's zoom in again. And now I see them. They're right up there. So I'm going to hit that Erase tool again and wipe those out. Let's click Continue, and there we go. So now it's all clean. I don't need to save it as a print and cut. It's not even that pretty. We're going to save it only as a cut file so I can cut it out of white cardstock. Save it as map, tag it as you want as well. Click Save, and there it is. Now it's cropped and it's ready to use in my project. All I do is select it, and click Insert Image, and now it's in my project. And I can size it to be any size I want to cut. So all I did for this card is I went to Shapes, Square, resized the square to the size of my Project Life card, which was a 4 by 6 Move to front. Make sure that the map fits. And it does. I deleted out the background. And then I just clicked Make It. And it put it on the mat, and I just cut it out. So that's how you can customize a map 
To go into anything that you want for Project Life, you can do this with any image that you find on the internet. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you like this tutorial, please hit the thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe so that you can see our other tutorials that we'll be doing in five minutes or less. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.